A two-run lead in the ninth went by the wayside for the Seminoles, but they bounced back and got the walk-off win to head back to the ACC championship. I mean, I'd rather had it done early, but <laughs> uh, it was great to get that. I mean, it gave us a bunch of confidence, and going in tomorrow with that kind of confidence can be a good thing. There's no excuse. I mean, there's no, oh, uh, we got time, I and mean, it's it's showtime. It's it's now, now or never, really. And and I think a lot of our our, our end of the season struggles just came from from guys getting too tense, too nervous, and I think ultimately we just went back to to really trusting who we are as a, a team, a unit and just trust every individual on this team and, and know that, that when a spot comes up and, and we need something to happen, just trust one another. And, and I think it's more of just slowing the game down and, and doing what we've done since, since the fall, way back when, when baseball wasn't even a thought. So I think that's the biggest thing, is just relaxing, having fun, and, and good things happen when you do that. That's poise, that's character, and then to come in and get it done was very encouraging. Dylan Busby had a day going four for five with three RBIs, including the walk-off hit. Just got back to things I was doing early in the year and going back with what works and kicking out what doesn't. So, I mean, getting back to everything and swinging the bat and good things came, so roll with it. He's learning the game on a daily basis as all of our players are. And that's, that's something that you carry with you throughout your career is having an idea of how you're going to be worked. The Seminoles also got a great start from Tyler Holton, who went seven innings allowing two runs on two hits, striking out nine. Tyler was in total control, and, and that's very encouraging to see a young man go out there and enjoy the opportunity and, and stay in the moment, not get out of himself. This is my second start against Miami, so I was able to I guess you say get those nerves out of the last start, but I mean I've been on the mound a lot this season, and whenever it comes down to it, you're you're playing baseball. I've done it since I was a little kid. So simplifying everything and going out there having fun, that's what we were able to do today, and that's why we won. The Seminoles look to be the first repeat champions since Wake Forest in '98 and '99 when they play Clemson tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the championship game.